Okay, Aiden. I was just watching a uh, another YouTube bra calendar uh, that his channel popped up. I was looking at something and his channel popped up and his name is Zen Master 6 and I just subscribed to him but he does some rock hounding around here and he likes to look for fossils and it inspired me so right now I want to go down to the Cedar River because those floods we had two weeks ago actually cut an entirely different channel through the valley along the Maple Valley Highway where I come home from work every day and it exposed a whole bunch of new gravel and then the old river channel is all dried up now so anyways I want to go down there and see if we can find some some of that wood that petrified wood the petrified wood though in this area around here isn't really that high of quality and I've always known that but I remember uh, when we first started going rock hounding remember we found uh, some of those clam fossils yeah leaf fossils and stuff like that yeah I still got those we should do more of that I kind of like looking for fossils too not really hardcore into it but well it's just kind of fun yeah they're they're it's kind of cool just around here locally you know just a yeah. 15 minute drive from here we can find fossils but anyways those fossils those leaf fossils come out of the uh tuckwilla formation which is like mostly tiger mountain and uh extends all the way down into seattle so all right okay so here we are now down on the cedar river place where I wanted to go to where the river diverted and cut a new channel is closed that's on a county park King County and they closed it so there's no access to it right now so we are further upstream and we came down here to the river and Aiden found a couple of pieces of petrified wood already And I think I just found something really big. This is a piece of, I don't know what that is. Is it a piece, is this? Could be a piece. Carbonized wood, maybe, I don't know. It is carbonized though, whatever it is big log I don't see any growth rings in it but it's round though it looks like a big log and it is carbonized huh that right there yeah maybe it's there's little lines in it yeah it's so hard to say I don't know I, I, I mean the stuff that you find here is is it's all black it's not really that impressive I found this though this weird green thing this green mineral Okay. Yeah, this is definitely wood for sure. Yeah. Get it in focus, okay. Yeah. Yeah, for that's, sure. Yeah, for yeah, sure. That's, that's a, wood. That's a keeper. That is a keeper. All right. Well, that's cool. All right. I found some now. Definitely. That's definitely, no doubt about it, that is petrified wood. So you said you found a jazz bagot? Yeah. Here's one I found. Similar. Let's 
So here's a definite example of black carbonized wood. I'll leave that right there where I found it. So here's what Aiden just found. That's, that's impressive. It's got a fairly smooth texture. It's dense. I think it's adventuring. Yeah, I don't know. Look at those swirls. It's got some swirl marks in there. Yeah, we'll take that home and slice that baby on the saw. See what it looks like. Nice. Stuff here is like kind of round already. Let's see it. Wow. Oh yeah. Definitely petrified wood. Very water-worn river. River worn. I don't know, Aiden. What do you think of this one? Here, take a look at this. It's big. I don't know if it is for sure or not, though. Big hunk of petrified wood. Here. Huh? What do you think? I think it is. All right, set it on that log right there behind you. And get it on the way out. Aiden, I found a leaf fossil. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see another leaf imprint right there too. Yep. Huh. What kind of rock is that? It looks like sandstone. It's yeah, some kind of sandstone. Wow, cool. First and only agate. Oops, it's so slippery too. A rarity on the Cedar River. Look at that. Cool. Nice. Wow. That's definitely the trophy of the day right there. I found some Huh? Where is it? Yep. Go ahead, get it. Jeez, that is a big chunk. Wash it off, see what it looks like. chunk. There's like little agate spots in here. Right there. Yeah, we'll have to take, we'll take that home for sure. We'll slice that thing on the saw. See what it looks like. I mean, I don't know. It's not, it's, it's okay. Definitely not compared to what you'd find up at Saddle Mountain, but hey, what the heck? It's the Cedar River. Go ahead, rinse it off. Jeez, that does look like Poppy Jasper. God. Interesting.
Oh, look nice yeah, tumbler. definitely take that home. So here is the rock saw that I restored. And anyways, if anybody subscribes to this magazine, if you go on your, uh, if you go to the back issue, um, if this is the August 2015 issue of, of Rock and Gem, on page 56, um, I wrote an article in there. Uh, on how I restored this saw. Anyways, here it is. This is the saw that's in this article, August 2015. So anyways, I just got done cutting the, uh, one of the large chunks of petrified wood we found there on the Cedar River. So let's see how it turns out, or it turned out. Wow, that's like, it looks like gold, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at that. I think it could be like, oh, it looks like pyrite. Or cut it. It. God, that's interesting. Wow. That is really cool. I had no idea it'd come out that cool. Okay, here's that piece you found. I'm going to slice that baby next. <sighs> Boy, I don't know if anybody knows about this stuff or has found this stuff before. Yeah, it's beautiful, look at that. I know, that's amazing. Leave it in the comments section because I'd really like to know if that's actually pyrite. I'm guessing it is. It has like a shine to it, you I know, know what I mean? Yeah, and, and the outside, the ox, you know, the stuff that was exposed is, is rusty colored. So... Okay, and you ready for the reveal? Yep. All right. There we go. Ooh, look at that swirl action going on in there. There, just go back towards that log. Go further back, go further back, further back. Now run and jump. You can make it. No, you can do it. Look, if you get your feet wet, we're only 10 minutes from the house. Just do it. Don't even hesitate. You can do it. Come on. Just run, run, and jump. Come on. You can do it. Just do it. Why? Why are you scared? Oh, you'll be fine. Don't worry. Just do it. You're just scared because of the water. And it's a little stream right there. It's like only about three feet. You can jump three feet. You can jump. Come on. Just do it. Oh, see? You got one foot wet. You didn't get two feet wet.